we're going to look at some electron configurations very closely. And this is going to involve so-called Russell Saunders coupling. And we'll look at the microstates that are possible within a particular electron configuration. So electrons can exist in a lot of different orbital configurations. And if we just had one electron in a d orbital, then we could have 10 configurations. So we could have the electron there. And I don't think I'll draw out all of these because there's, they're quite similar, but you'll get the idea. So I'm just moving the electron into the different positions. And then of course we would have the corresponding spin down configuration. Now, this is relatively easy to determine the number of possible microstates or positions that that electron could occupy. But what happens when we add a second electron in to the configurations? Well, we're going to have coupling because they're not independent from each other. We can't have two electrons that have the same quantum number. And so they do affect each other. And the spin and the positions all add up to uh, different magnetic states. And this will all affect the electronic spectra and uh, therefore some of the properties. But generally speaking, we're talking about electronic spectra. So what happens if we have two d electrons? Well, we could try to determine all of the possible states, and, and we'll just draw some up here, right? There's, there's a few of them, but it's going to be difficult to just come up with all of the possible electronic states by just dr drawing them out. You can do it, but it gets to be challenging, especially when we're looking at a d orbital. There's five different positions. And we could even have this happen for more than just two electrons. We could have it have three or four. And then the number of combinations becomes quite a lot. So we'll need a more systematic approach to going about this. So what we're going to do is create a chart. And in one side, this top part, we will write the total spin. And for two electrons in a d orbital or where they can be in separate orbitals. The combinations are both down, so negative one total spin, one up and one down, zero, and then both up, one. So two negative halves, that's negative one, plus a half, minus a half, that's zero, plus a half, plus a half, that's uh, one. And then we'll keep track of the um, m's of l combinations over here. So spin and then the, the orbital position, the angular momentum. And for a d orbital, we could have two electrons in the two 
Um, and so that would make the m sub l have a maximum value of 4. And then we can count down to um, negative 4, right? all of the combinations of uh, m sub l. So 3, 2, 1, 0, and then, then of course, negative, right? So we have a chart here that we can now fill out with the possible states. So let's, let's start with one here. If we want to have the total um, uh, m sub l equal to 4, it's not possible to have a negative 1 because they'd have to both be in the 2 m sub l orbital and they'd have to both have spin down. And that would mean there are two quantum, no, two electrons with the same quantum number. That's not allowed. So there is no state here where that's possible. It is possible to have two electrons in this orbital and they don't have the same spin. So let's write that. And I'm just going to write two as the m sub l and then a plus to indicate spin up and two negative to indicate spin down. And similarly over here, there is no both electrons having spin up because they'd have the same quantum number. So, so far we've got one state down. Now, let's see how we can add up to three. So if we had an electron in the m sub l2 orbital and one in the 1 orbital, then that would add up to 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. So let's write that down. 2 and 1. And we can have a negative spin here and a negative spin there because these are now in different orbitals. So we can have a total of a negative 1 m sub s. Now over here, there's going to be two options for us because we can put the up in the 2 orbital and the down in the 1 and vice versa. So let's, let's do that. 2 plus 1 negative and then 2 negative and 1 plus. Now I'm going to skip writing all of the states for um, both up, and that's because it's symmetrical. So I'll have one state over here, and it's less important to have all of the individual states written out as it is to know how many microstates exist for each configuration. And so when we're done with all of this, we're just going to look at this and say, well, there's one state under these conditions, there's two state under two states under that condition. And we'll use symmetry to fill out the rest of the chart. And that will speed up the process. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker on some of these others just to get it done. and one minus as well.
So again, in this case, we're just having one of them being in the down position, one of them being the up position, but we're moving them around so that the m sub l total is one. So two minus one, that's one. And then as you can see over here, we also have the combination of one and zero adding up to one. And so we'll have similar two combinations over here. So one negative and zero plus and uh, one plus and zero negative. So we're almost done because the rest of the chart will just use symmetry to answer. Plus one plus negative one negative and then over here we couldn't have this other option but now that they're spin up and spin down we can have a zero negative and a zero plus now again I'm not gonna fill out the rest of this chart because it's symmetrical. So this side right here will match exactly that side, except it will just, all of these negatives, the superscripts will be replaced with positives. And down here, we, we can just, uh, you can see the symmetry there. So that's an example of microstates for uh, two electrons and d orbitals and let's just look at um, another example, which would be three electrons in a p orbital. So p, three. Now for this, we have some other options for m sub s, because now we have three electrons. And so all three of these electrons are capable of being spin down. So that's negative three halves. Now, one of them could be spin up and two down, so that'd be negative one half. And then of course, one half and three halves to finish out that side. Again, we're only going to fill out half of this chart, so some of this might bleed over a little bit here. Now, for m sub l, we can put two electrons in the one orbital, and then we could put one in the zero, and so that would give us a maximum value of m sub l being two. And then we could have one, zero, negative one, and negative two, right? Just counts that way. So let's now look at the possible combinations that could lead to this. And again, we won't need to fill out this part of the chart or that part of the chart because it will be symmetrical. So we'll give ourselves as much room here as possible. If we want to have m sub l equal to 2, then we must have two electrons in the 1 orbitals and one in the 0. And if we would like them to be negative 1 half, then one of them should be spin up and two should be spin down. Now, since these two are in the same position, 
One of them must be up, one of them must be down. So just go up there and then down and down. And this other one has to be the other one that's down to add up to m sub s equal negative one half. It's not possible to have a combination that fits this square because both of these would have to be spin down and they have to go in the same orbital, so not allowed. Let's now move down to the next one. We can have an electron in the one orbital and then very similar to this, we'll just put zero and then zero. And we will need one electron to be up and the other two to be down for this to happen, to add up to negative one half. Since we have two electrons in the zero, one of them must be up, the other down. So this one must be down. There is another combination that would lead us to uh, m sub l totaling to one. And that is if we had two electrons in the one orbital and one of them in the negative one. So one plus one minus one is one. It's a lot of ones. And since we have two of these here, one of them must be up and the other one down. And then to equal one half, we'll have to have this one being down. It's not possible to have a combination where m sub l equals one total and uh, minus three halves. And we come to this middle one, which is the, la the last row that we need to fill out. And let's see what possible combinations we can have here. So one and zero and negative one. And all of them must have a one, zero and negative one. in order for them to add up to zero. Now to get the spin, we just need to fill out um, one position being up and two being down. So one up, two down, one up and two down, just like so. And so we're just moving the the one electron that's up through the different orbitals. And, and so that's why there's three possibilities here. And then over here, it's now possible to have a uh, negative three halves. So one, zero, and negative one, and all of them being negative. So all of the spins being aligned and all down. And again, we could fill out the remainder of the chart using symmetry. Now in the next video we'll talk about what to do with the microstates.